bigger. Bigger is better. Well, normally it is in Battletech, and we are getting bigger mechs, that's for sure. We finally have our first assault mech. And what assault mech is that? Well, we are now piloting Daddy's mech, the Victor. I don't know what version of the Victor the instructor guy was using, but hey, this is what we're going to be using. This mech is not zombie mech approved, meaning it's not it's not a zombie mech, so it's not approved for use by my allies. Meaning I'm going to be the only one who uses this mech because I, I can't afford to lose too many of the AC-20s. That's just not going to work. Also, the Orion was redesigned to be SRMs. I've given up on LRMs altogether. Like, when this thing gets into close combat, we need all of our weapons online. So now it's even less of a zombie mech because I added in... The, the SRM-6 just doesn't weigh as much, so I added in uh, SRM-4s and uh, also an LBX-10 AC. Um, and that's it. I think, I think those are the only new battle mechs, but... What we are going to be doing is going back to this, going to do the uh, main quest mission today. So, Distress Call. Major Rihanna Campbell says, here's the plan. Our clients are part of a large farming combine, so I'm going to drop you in as close as I can to their main population center. From there, you'll need to make your way to the city center as quickly as possible and repel the Inferno attack. Simple farmers, these people have no way of protecting themselves against those Inferno forces, so you're the only hope. Unfortunately, I don't remember the story, because we've been doing so many things in between. But, um... Sure, we're gonna go over here. I'm guessing it- I'm guessing this is yet another one of those... Uh, this, those things we heard about, how Black Inferno is trying to, like, scare the civilian populations away so that they can, like, pillage lost tech. I'm guessing that's what we're basically going to try to catch them in the act and try to stop them from doing what they're doing. Oh, uh, well, we got... Well, where, where are we? So we're in the Free World Commerce Hub. This region near the heart of the Free Worlds League is a major commercial hub for business and commerce. Across the inner sphere, the League is known and sometimes criticized for its entrepreneurial spirit and business acumen. Despite the League's wide cultural diversity and generally democratic society, an undercurrent of discontent has long rumbled between the haves and have-nots. Most of the world in the region belongs to the Principality of Regulus, one of the League's founding provinces, and the Principality of Gibson. The rest are independent League planets. Interesting. Uh, the Free Worlds League, a.k.a. House Merrick, they're the ones I know the least about. I don't know much about them at all, so I don't know, maybe we'll learn something. So here we've got a distress call, a level 60 difficulty mission. Coalition of Farmers says, This is an open call to any mercenaries or authorities in the area. We are under attack by a band of unidentified raiders. We're a civilian settlement with no political affiliation. Please, if anyone receives this, we need help immediately. Well, we're going to take a lot of insurance, probably about 700,000. I want to be able to salvage at least one light mech, so I'm going to take eight salvage shares, and we're going to go in. And I'm going to bring out, naturally, our big daddy's mech, the Victor. And then I'm probably going to bring in, um... Uh, let's see what we get if we just put all the hunchbacks in, just to see how much... So we've got an extra... 30 tons, so I could possibly upgrade you to a better mech, and we can bump you up as well. I don't have a 60 ton mech aside from the dragon, but there's no way they're going to pilot the dragon. So he's going to go in the grasshopper. You need missile practice. Which version of the hunchback is this? This is the AC version, so let's get the missile version. You need training with that, so let's get the AC-20 version out for him so he can practice auto cannons and he can practice missiles. He's going to practice lasers because that's what the grasshopper does. And these are our new zombie mechs. So this Victor redesign has very heavy armor. Uh, I took out the SRM-4, just didn't feel like I needed it. Um, and I got the jump jets. I Actually, I kept, I kept the jump jets for a change. 
Normally I don't do that, but this time we actually chose to keep the jump jets. I don't know if those are going to come into play. And if I feel like the heat is becoming a problem, I'll drop the jump jets and add in more heat sinks. But I, I really just wanted a really heavily armored mech that had a AC-20, to be completely honest. I really just want to bash some enemies down with the AC-20. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, Commander. Time to save lives and win some hearts and minds in the process. The forming combine's main population sentry is close All right. by. Weapons Get good. I'm protected. If there are any infernal forces in the area, well, eliminate them with extreme prejudice. I'd personally appreciate it. So will our clients. With extreme prejudice, huh? I can definitely do that. See you in a bit. Good luck. Okay, so off we go, I guess. <clears throat> so the first thing I realized that's a mistake is my weapons are reversed. So left mouse is the medium lasers and right mouse is the AC-20. I want that to be the other way around. But it's not that big of a deal. So the reason the Victor is a good battle mech, in MechWarrior 4, the Victor was often my primary assault mech. Like, it's just kind of what we used as the everyday assault mech. And in uh, Me MechWarrior 2, you'd actually have two lances. So, you know, I would sometimes have like six Victors on the field. And the reason for that is because it's fast. You know, 64 kilometers, that's very good for an assault mech. And, you know, it carries pretty decent weapons. It doesn't carry overwhelmingly good weapons, but... But, um, it carries a really big weapon. And it's fast, so, you know, you, you don't have to worry as much about, Oh no, your guys are too slow, you're never gonna get to this objective in time. And that's why like, I just really like the Victor as, like, a standard everyday battle mech. Really a, uh, just a really good design in general. Like I said, not the most deadly of battle mechs, just because it's, it, it loses a lot of, uh, firepower to having a big enough engine to go this fast. But, it, it's, it's kind of like the Dragon. The trade-off in firepower is often worth the speed. And if the battle gets, like, absolutely insane, or something even bigger is required, we'll be able to find even bigger battle mechs. How polite of them to wait for us to get to the city. Before starting their attack. Great, this looks like another city for ants. Oh, I hope these cars aren't important. We're grateful for your assistance. We sacrificed a lot for the community to grow to what it is. We're not ready to just let others come in and rip that away from us. Well, don't worry, my Auto Cannon 20 will be ripping plenty of things in its place. Unless I miss like that, which I just did. Oh, did I just mow that guy down right then and there? Ugh, oh, I don't have the weapon to take that thing out. Somebody will blow that thing up for me. Shoot it. Shoot it for me. Be useful. Oh, here we got something right here. Ah. Oh. I gotta be a bit more accurate with my lasers. I forgot I don't have many support weapons. Oh, man, this is a really tight squeeze. This is a really tight squeeze. Oh, ah! Oh, man, maybe I should drive like this. Maybe that'll be... Oh, my God, and I'm also a really wide battle mech. Oh, God! Oh! Ugh. Ah! Mmm. God, why don't they make these cities big enough for battle mechs to go through, like... They're so inconsiderate. How am I supposed to defend your city when your city is made for ants? Oh no, I'm crashing into more buildings. Oh wait, here here come the jump just. Where is that battle mech at? We just detected him not long ago. What are you guys shooting at? Oh. 
Okay, we found the battle mech. Oh my god, he's playing this cat and mouse BS. Oh my god, it's so hard to get through this. We are so not going to earn all of our combat bonuses. We can just kiss that combat bonus. Goodbye. Keep the base above 30 per six, above 60%. That ain't happening. Not happening, folks. I can't even catch up this dumb mech. Shoot! There we go. Where'd he go? He's so small that I can't find him. Oh, you felt that. Where did he go? Oh my god, I can't shoot him because he's so small. There we go. There's nothing like squishing enemies with an AC-20. No, don't jump into the building! Oh, no! Oh, this is... Oh, man. We are not defending this as effectively as I would have liked. But at least the jump jets are actually getting some use. Oh, he, he would stop! He would stop! I'm just gonna step on him. Come on, finish these vehicles up. What am I paying you guys for? I don't want to waste my too much of my ammo on them. Like they're foiling my plan. I I brought. There we go. Did anyone make it out of there? Why can't I shoot? Shoot! Shoot! I'm pushing the button and I'm not shooting. Why am I not shooting? Yeah, I, I need to stay outside of the city. I think. Here we go. Finally, something that's actually worthy of shooting at. Oh man, I got a weak point on his armor right there. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to be a little surgical with the. Oh, shoot him in the back armor. They turn your back to someone with an AC-20. You're the madman. The madman. So basically, what I'm going to try to do is use the two medium lasers to prick the little... the gaps in his armor. Like, if I blast his armor away, I'm going to try to, like, finish that area off with the, the medium lasers because of how accurate they are. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I should not try to squeeze through here. Oh wait, he's behind me. Oh no! I don't want to hit my ally. Okay, I got him. Additional tangos en route to your position, Commander. And of course it goes critical in the city. Um, I could jump over this, but do I really want them all to focus fire on me? I feel like the answer is no. Oh, can't fit. All of these annoying guys. Oh, come on. I didn't quite finish him off. Oh, come on. I can fit. Oh, no. I'm hitting the building. Ah! Okay, I got the choppers. What do we got? Oh, they killed a mech. Very good, team. Oh, wait, we got enemies, finally. Is that a battle master? Yes, it is. Interesting. So we're fighting our first assault mech as well. I'm going to get behind him and start blasting him with the AC-20. You can't handle this damage. Don't even try it. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Grasshopper took a beating from that. Not too surprising though. We've got a catapult. Oh great, they got an awesome too. Hmm. Go for the catapult, I think. Uh AC20 doing major damage to its armor. Its missiles are worthless. And it's a catapult A1, and we happen to know that this is the version that doesn't have any support weapons, so it can't fight back. Going for the awesome, now two assault mechs in this- oh! No, don't shoot at me, I'm on your side, like, why would you do that? I'm, I'm not, I'm not here, to, I'm just here to see how you're doing. Why would you shoot me? Oh yeah, he's got a exposed armor segment there, going for it. Okay, we got him. Okay, so my grasshopper is pretty banged up, but still holding together. No major component losses yet. But we just went through two assault mechs pretty efficiently. And I've got about half of my AC-20 ammo left. Guess it was a good idea to put three tons of ammo on. Got ourselves a fire starter over here. I'm gonna jump. This might have been a bad idea. Oh, uh, actually, okay, I think it turned out okay. Jump jet fuel low. Okay, we're good. Bro, look at that high mobility, like we're we're taking advantage of the terrain. Nothing's gonna slow me down from stepping all over the city on accident. We got a cicada and one of those guys. You know what? Those enemies are so weak that I'm just gonna jump up here. Jump jet fuel low. There we go. Do what daddy should have done when he was fighting those enemy battle mechs. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Oh. Overshot on him. Let's see how you like this AC-20. You can't hold out against this for long. And my allies are finally arriving. Oh no, I missed. I need to not miss. Oh god. These little light mechs are actually doing some damage to me. Oh, I must have AC'd his leg. Got him! I broke something, I saw the flash. Oh! No! Okay, there we go. It's all good. Okay, I don't know where these guys just seem like they spawned in. We got a Marauder. Why are the enemies in such heavily armored... These are some nasty enemies. Are they dropping a second lance off? Leave me alone. They better not be dropping another lance off right on top of me. This is a nasty lance. They existed. That's what they did wrong. Okay, I got him. Oh man. Where, where is his ACR, man? I'm going for his... A okay, I got his AC-10, or his AC-20. They're trashing the base, but oh my god, we have to deal with this, like, extremely nasty lance here. Like, there's just nothing we can do about that. Ow! Stop shooting me. Oh, 
What's this over here? An LRM carrier? I can zap him real quick. Come on, allies. You gotta thin these guys out. There we go. Oh, God. I'm just gonna jump over this guy, hopefully. I lost my AC-20. Uh, I had a feeling that would happen. That arm had gotten so weakened. Which means I can barely contribute against these battle mechs now. So I'm gonna focus on destroying the vehicles, which is something that I can actually be useful against. And I'm gonna be, like I said, surgical. I'm gonna go for his leg. Okay, good. We got him. Okay, they've got to be out of battle mechs. The reason I was running around a lot there was because I was trying to get him to not blow my arm off, but I had a feeling it was eventually going to go, and that I was just delaying it. Shoot! I'm pushing the button! Shoot him! I'm just gonna squish him. Okay, we did it. Darn, I wish I would have saved my arm right there, but... What can you do? Sure does. Head to the extraction point. I'm on my way. Really? There's an extraction point? Or was that just di okay, that was just dialogue. It was a false alarm. I thought I actually had to go there. Oh, that sucks. I wish my arm would have survived. That would have been really nice. Cause like I have a few spare AC twenties, but I don't have that many of them. I'll have to start spending money on buying them. Uh, okay, so we can salvage a mech. Uh, this is one is worth the most. No dialogue, which is interesting. Um... Give me an SRM-6. No, oh, I can't. Give me... I don't know. What do I need? Medium lasers. Oh, we'll take this one then. So we took 1.2 million C bills in damage. Obviously, the repairs on the Victor are pretty high due to loss of that AC-20. Uh, so the aftermath is mission accomplished, Commander. The Inferno forces are bugging out. The Combine is extremely grateful we were able to intervene and have already released our payment. While you were taking care of business on the ground, I contacted Spears and fill I filled him in on what we were up to in this system. He's going to send an advanced exploration team up from IE to investigate and survey the area. If there's a Star League facility of some kind on the planet, Spears' people will uncover it. He's also promised a generous finder's fee should that happen. Could mean some serious cash, never a bad thing. Anyways, excellent work. Overall, we still profited for sure, but I, I mean, like, I was not expecting to fight that many enemy mechs. That's for sure. That that was a um, that was pretty nasty. Like those were a lot of. Where, where's a nearby system for repairs? Over here. Let's check this area out. Wait. Oh, I have to speak to. I hate these. I hate how I can't do anything until I talk to her. I can't do like. Oh, I have to talk to Fahad. Like, that's one thing that annoys me about this. Like, what if I don't want to talk to them? Why do I have to talk to them? What do you want? Hey, boss man. Keeping me and the crew real busy lately. Glad to see the contracts rolling in. Like that. Doing a bloody good job, too. Gotta say. Just one thing, though. You and your fellow pilots might want to dodge the enemy's fire a little bit, all right? We're running triple shifts after some of these jobs. And I know... I know you're doing your level best under the circumstances. I'll get that, I do. It ain't easy. All I'm saying is, try to bring the mechs home with all their limbs still attached. That's not too much to ask, is it? No, it isn't, mate. It's pretty bloody reasonable, I think. Well, there you go. Some friendly advice on the house, Guff. Gonna get back to work now. Catch you later. Oh, th thanks. You know, it's, that's not like a, it's not like I wasn't already a trying to do that. Like, Fahad is definitely not a replacement for Yang. I think Yang was, uh, is a much more... It, it, it's like, all Fahad does is, like, complain and be like, Oh, man, remember me? I'm the guy who repairs things. That's basically all he does. 
Oh, now we gotta speak to Rian. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hey, Commander. Thanks to Spears' people, we now know we're somewhere within Inferno's current sphere of operations. However, we still haven't been able to pinpoint the location of their base. What we have learned is the name of the man who killed your father, the leader of Black Inferno. Name's Andreas Kane. He was loyal to one of the Marek factions for a while, making a nasty name for himself. He was responsible for several massacres as well. Of course, that was before he struck out on his own and set up shop as a mercenary. After that, his trail runs cold. Unfortunately, that means there's a lot we still don't know, like how Inferno became as big as they are, or who their current benefactor is. Andreas Cain. When we find him, Rihanna, I'm gonna tear him and his mech limb from limb. I have no doubt, Commander. But we need to find him first. I've been scanning the comms, looking for any mention of Inferno activity. Not ten minutes ago, I picked up a distress call from a nearby port city. They have come under successive attacks by a mercenary group, and are asking for immediate help. Sound familiar? Sure does. The distress call had this image embedded in the transmission. It's a map of the city and port. I think it's best if I drop you down here, just outside this farm. You can proceed from there into the main city itself and ensure that it's protected. The port is nearby, over here. That's where I'll pick you up once the city and port have been secured. Questions? Nope. Plan sounds good. All right. Get us where we need to go, Commander. I'll keep monitoring the situation. Roger that. Okay, can I finally control the game now? Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go to this new industrial hub for repairs since, once again, like our repairs are going to be substantial due to this. And we're going to see what the damage report on our battle mech is. Uh, like I said, gonna have to swap out the AC-20. Gonna have to start buying more of them. But, what can you do? Okay, so what we're gonna do is sort by large, sort by size. I was thinking about actually using the Gauss rifle, but I'm gonna use the... I... Okay, I got some cheap AC-20s AC here. I'll use these. That's the only thing we lost, though. I guess that's kind of fortunate. Uh, let's see how our other battle mechs fared. Look at that. Very nice. Like, okay, let, let me zoom out. This battle mech lost its arm, and because we've designed it into a zombie mech, all that me all that meant is that it lost the medium laser. Like that's that's why we're going for this kind of zombie mech adaptation. Uh, look at the uh, repair all. And not, not, not a bad price for a heavy mech. Over here, just armor repairs. That's perfectly fine. More armor repairs, just fine. Let's check the market. First, we'll sell. Let's sell the fire starter off. And uh, let's see what they're selling to us. Here's the traditional awesome. This actually is a zombie-ish mech. The three PPCs, two of them are actually in the torso. One of the arms has no weapons in it because it's a battle fist, and then the other arm is a PPC arm, so that's honestly not bad. This guy is viable as a zombie mech. This is the fire support version with the double large lasers. Probably not as interested in this unless we go LR SRMs. We've got, uh, and then the Banshee, potentially also zombie mech material. Uh, we have, look, let's look at the arms. No weapons in the arms. Left torso, right torso, left torso, yeah, all the weapons are in the head and the torso. So we've got a potential zombie mech here as well in this Banshee 3M. So, very interesting stuff. The possibilities are, are definitely there. So, all that really went wrong there was like, I lost the arm. I probably should have tried to maneuver the battle a little more onto the other arm, but... At the same time, I was trying to maintain the maximum rate of fire. One thing that's nice about the AC-20 is what you can do is you can shoot somebody, and then because it has a long reloading cycle, you can kind of like just start moving around like a maniac and trying to shake them off of you, as opposed to something like the machine guns. The machine guns, you have to constantly saturate them with gunfire. Like, you don't really have, you know, if you're going all crazy, like flipping out, 
you know, you're not doing damage to them, whereas you can do it with weapons that have a long rate of fire or a, a long uh, reloading cycle. That's certainly an advantage there. That said, I still think it was a really good showing for the victor, given that we bashed some of those mechs down really nicely. I still would like an LBX-20, though, and that's because uh, it's a little more balanced of an autocannon. Because of the shotgun spray means it's a little bit better against smaller mechs. You know, you don't have to, like, it's not an all-or-nothing shot. Like, with the AC-20, you either hit or you don't hit. But with the LBX, since it fires like a spray, still very good against bigger mechs, but there's a chance that maybe half of the shots hit, half the shots miss if I'm aiming at a lighter mech, so it's got its upsides and downsides. The Hunchbacks are doing pretty good, and I'm really happy with this, um... What do you call it? The Grasshopper, I might actually buy a second Grasshopper just because it's performing, it's actually performing really well. Let me know what you think though down in the comment section. If I start buying duplicate battle mechs, like with the, you know, we've got a bunch of hunchbacks, I'm thinking about getting more of these guys because this, this mech seems to perform really well and I think my allies will use it just fine. And I'm thinking about getting more of these guys because, once again, my the allies, they seem to perform pretty well on it. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure how the allies will perform in the Orion, but the Orion, it should hit pretty hard. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. Like this video, visit and subscribe for future MechWarrior 5 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.